Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah, mighty God. Glory be to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. You are faithful, God. You are holy, Father. Thank you, Lord. Good night, everybody. As you're coming into the room, just begin to worship. Just begin to bless God right where you are, wherever that is, and just hit the share button. Let's get the word out as quickly as we can and invite some people to join us in the presence of the Lord tonight. Glory be to God. Welcome to Righteous Remnant Ministries International, Revelated Rhema. Glory be to God. Let me encourage somebody today. No matter what is coming up against you, you have to remember God is God. No matter what is coming up against you, remember you're the head and not the tail. You're above and not beneath. Everything God has called you to be, everything God has called you to, to accomplish in the earth, it shall be done. Hallelujah, it shall be done. Glory be to God. Somebody begin to bless God on the line with me tonight. Somebody begin to give God a real praise. Amen. Uh, even now we cast down every demonic spirit and every contrary spirit that would try to exalt itself against the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Bible says at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ, he is Lord. Glory be to God. We thank God for his healing power tonight. You know, we got word that a very good friend of mine, a sister in the faith, you know, she went through a trial and surgery, came out with the victory. And tonight I give God praise for victory over her life. Glory be to God. Only God could have done it. Hallelujah. And only God is in charge. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So tonight we, we're going to let Satan know we come to tear his kingdom down. It doesn't matter what he tries, no matter the avenue he wants to stand in. He is already defeated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. As you're coming in the room, just hit the share button. Join me tonight, giving God praise, giving God honor, giving God glory. I want you to know you're in a season. And this is not the word tonight, but I'm just going to drop it right here. This is a season that God will expose every hidden thing around you. God will not allow people to plot. God will not allow people to conspire. He's going to reveal the hidden things to you and bring people that you never thought would conspire against you to shame. Hallelujah, Jesus. God will bring them to shame. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you for joining us here tonight. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I'm excited about this word because, you know, the enemy, he will always bring a fight. He will always bring a fight because he doesn't want you to have the victory. He wants you to question who God is. He wants you to question who you are. But I'm here to announce to Satan you are already defeated in the name of Jesus. No matter where I go, I got the victory. And you have to have the same mindset, people of God, as you're coming in the room. Hit the share button tonight. Glory be to God. Know that I love all of you in a damn. Amen. And I appreciate you taking the time out to come and join us tonight. Because I know it's never easy. Amen. Life happens. And we go through so many things so many times and we're waiting on this to happen and waiting on that to happen, you know, and, and sometimes we get impatient, but continue to wait on the Lord. No matter what you're going through, you have the victory already. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I believe this word is going to bless a whole lot of people. Because it blessed me. Hallelujah. We're just going to wait for a couple more minutes. Somebody just begin to bless God on this line tonight. Bless you, Minister Barbara Hargrove. Amen. God bless you, mighty woman of Zion. God bless you. Hallelujah. We're about to go into prayer, Rabasha. So I need all my prayer warriors on the line with me tonight. 
when we begin to pray, I need you to let's go up into the seventh level of glory tonight. Amen. Let's pull down a new level. Hallelujah. Let's pull down. Let's go to another level tonight. So we don't need to look at the time. Amen. Because we are where God purposed for us to be. And we're going to have church right where we are. For we are the ecclesia of almighty God. Amen. Sister Valdassa Newbold, all the way from Florida. God bless you. Amen. Minister Daphne, God bless you. Hallelujah. Sister Novarine Wright, I hope you got my message. It's time to pray. God bless you, Sister Tiffany. Amen. It was great seeing you when I was in, in the Bahamas just a couple of weeks ago. Amen. It was great seeing you and your mother. Praise God. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome. You know, we can't do anything without the presence of the Lord. We can't do anything without the Holy Spirit. And I invite the Holy Spirit into every aspect of my life. I send him before me. We never know what's coming, but he already knows. Amen. He has the insider tip. And he will give you inside information that will cause you to, be, to avert every plan of the enemy. Glory be to God. We're about to go into prayer. That's right. Hit the share button. I see some people coming in the room. God bless you, Sister Sherry Roll. Hallelujah. God bless you, Lady Culmer. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Minister Smith. Amen. God bless you all the way from Georgia tonight. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're about to go into prayer. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God bless you, woman of God. Hallelujah. Mocha Tamika, God bless you tonight. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father, we bless your name. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we bless God for this moment in the presence of the Lord. We bless God for his kingship for his authority. We bless God for his power, for his supremacy, for his sovereignty. He is God alone. Amen. And beside him, there is none other. We give God thanks for our beloved Bishop, Brian Jermaine Graham, who is not with me in the prayer room tonight. Amen. But I bless God for him wherever he is. Praise God. And we cover him tonight under the blood of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. And so the bishop has just walked in the room. Isn't that a nice surprise? Well, bless the Lord. We're about to go into prayer. Hallelujah. We're about to pray. Sister Rochelle, God bless you. I've not seen you in so long. Claudine Taylor, blessings to you, beloved. Hallelujah. Sister Javina Gray, my daughter in the faith. I love you. Amen. God bless you. Every time I see her name, I just get excited because I see God doing so many great things in her life. God bless you. John R. Gandhi. Amen. Wherever you're watching from tonight, God bless you. Amen. Bishop, you want to come over here? Let's hold hands and and let's just pray and cover this service as we're going. And we're going to cover this word tonight. We're going to cover this word because the enemy does not want this word to come to pass. But we know he is defeated already. Praise God. And hallelujah. We're going we're gonna to pray and we're going to give God thanks for all that he is and all that he is doing. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Uh, Sister Samantha Harvey, God bless you. God bless you. Sister Africa Kelly, God bless you. Amen. Uh, beloved Nana. My sister, Nana Lubin, I love you, woman of God. Amen. I love you. God bless you. Let's begin to pray. Saints, as you're coming in the room, just hit the share button. So as many people as get your invite will be able to come into the room. Amen. And receive this mighty word from the Lord on tonight. Father God, we give you praise. We give you thanks. We give you glory. Father God, we come humbling ourselves. Father, for we are absolutely nothing without you. God, we praise you that the gates of, our, of, of, of Almighty God are open on our behalf. God, and you're bringing us victory that only your right hand and holy arm can give father god we cancel every demonic assignment father yes. right now we tear down the gates of hell we the we take Jesus. back the territory that the enemy has stolen father yes, i bring god. the body of the people that you've called to assemble this day yes. and to hear yes, this god. word oh god father i thank you for anointing the soils of their hearts to receive this word yes, father god, god i speak to every situation in their life that is inflexible god that is stubborn and god i ask you to move the walls even now in the name of jesus 
God, I pull down strongholds even yes. now in the name of Jesus. God, we bind every demonic spirit. Father God, we come against every every diabolical opposing force. God is, is holding your people in bondage tonight. Father God, we call for liberty. We call for freedom in the name of Jesus. Father God, we say arise and scatter the enemy tonight. Father, you say when the enemy come in like a flood, you will be present to lift up a standard. Father, you say though they come in one way, they must flee from before us seven ways. Father, we release your power, your anointing right yes. now in the name of Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. Father God, we praise you that the heavens are now opening on our behalf. Yes. God, we praise you that the victory of our, of our God is being released tonight in yes. the name of in Jesus. Name of Lord God, we thank you. Glory to God. Glory Jesus. We Glory. praise you, God, tonight from deliverances happening in this prayer line. Yes. We thank you, Father God, for healings taking place on this prayer line. We praise you, God, yes. for establishing the goings of your people. Father God, no matter what they're facing, God, I release the power of God to send an anointing to make dealing with it easy. Yes, Father God, God, we thank you right now for bringing hurting relationships, hurting yes, marriages, hurting family members and issues yes, and God. diabolical confusion. Yes, God, every screw tape and wormwood spirit that yes. has caused confusion in the midst of families. Yes, God, I cancel God. it tonight in yes. the name of Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. Father, may the shalom of God rest yes. on every house represented on yes. this line. In yes. the name of Jesus, yes. God, yes. every contrary force that has caused financial uh, mishaps. God, yes. we cancel it tonight in the mighty name, the mighty of, name Jesus. of Jesus. Father God, we thank you for giving us a heart and a mind and a spirit to begin to seek first the kingdom of God yes. and all your righteousness. All Father, your righteousness, that he come God. Up a hoya. God, that everything else shall be added. Uh, we yes. praise you, God. Uh, God, for revealing yourself unto us. Uh, God, revelate our minds tonight. Uh, oh God, take, take us deeper. Take us higher, yes. Lord take God. Uh, higher, in God. the name of Jesus. Uh, God, we God. cancel every dark work of the yes, enemy. Jesus. Satan, you are handcuffed uh, out of yes, everything God. that concerns the body of this people. Uh, yes, oh Jesus. God, we bless you. We bless you. Uh, we yes, honor God. you, Father God, for turning everything around. Uh, what yes. the enemy meant for bad, God, yes. tonight, turn it around. Turn it around uh, God, perfect uh, everything that concerns us, Lord. Uh, yes. If God be for us, it matters not. Uh, who be against us? Glory yes. be to God. Uh, Father, give us the power to stand. Yes, uh, God, Jesus. in the midst of fiery trials, uh, yes, in the midst God. of a wilderness, uh, God, give us power to stand. Uh, yes. in, in the midst, God, of the lions, then, God, uh, yes, we need Jesus. victory tonight, and we, go, we put prophetic uh, and apostolic oh, pressure Lord, on the heavens. Uh, God, that it would yes. release victory for your people tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, yes, uh, Jesus, we come away from form and fashion. Uh, yes. We come away from religion and tradition. Yes, uh, religion. And God, yes. we seek religion. your face. Yes. Uh, God, we seek your face earnestly. Uh, we yes. seek your face diligently. God, for mighty release and breakthrough over your people. Uh, right God, we now, praise God. you, Father. Right God, that now, as God. that tonight, their lives will yes. never be the same. Do it, God. Hallelujah. Glory, Jesus. Here come we the praise Lord. you for moving for them, yes. Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, those Jesus. that feel left out tonight. Yes. Those that are hurting tonight. Those that are under emotional attack tonight. Yes. God, I cover them under the blood of Jesus. And the I send that attack Jesus. back to the lives the and the hearts Jesus. of the senders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Jesus. Father, we thank you right now, God, for opening up the power, the power portals over us. Let the power of God descend. Father God, I thank you that principalities and, and princes are dethroned right now. In the name of Jesus, they have, they have no established footing and they will not be able to function in the issuance of this word. God, yes. let it come forth with power. Father, I humble myself before, before you. Yes. I'm absolutely nothing without you. Unctionize yes. your handmaiden. God, yes. to speak this word, God, the way you want to declare to your people. God, unctionize your handmaiden, God, to speak your word with truth in the name of Jesus. May the fire of God accompany every word tonight. Yes. Burn away the chaff, oh God, and yes. cause your people to align their lives with your word and live a life that is pleasing. Yes. <coughs> pleasing in your sight, oh God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, name we of praise Jesus. you for yes, it, Lord. Yes. We thank you for it, Father. Thank we cover, yes. we cover every person on this line tonight yes, under Jesus. the blood of Jesus. Blood Hallelujah. Of Jesus. Yes. And we call for victory from the east, the west, the north, and the south. And yes. we cancel every demonic attempt of the enemy to bring backlash yes. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, and amen. Somebody amen. just begin glory to type Jesus. a mighty amen yes. tonight. Give yes. God glory. Amen. Hallelujah, Glory Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Glory, hallelujah, mighty yes. God. Ramanda Bokori Ababa Sorebehe. Here I'm a mama son, Dorolo Bokori, I'm a Messiah Manda. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hadaba Sotorebe. Ramakanda Labasorebehea. Ramama Mama Sokora Bababasia Nalabahoya. 
Hallelujah. It is time that the people of God, amen, begin to honor the anointing that is on your life. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. People become disrespectful and they forget that God lives on the inside of you. Hallelujah. And those of you today that have been under attack, even this week, hallelujah, Jesus, I just cover you tonight. I cover your heart, your mind, and your spirit tonight. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I decree and declare that God would put your enemies in fear of who he is in you. He would humble them and remind them that he is your God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And tonight I bless God for this word. Amen. I'm going to just go right into it. Amen. If you have your Bibles, you have the electronic version, you're laying on your bed and you, you have the comfort of having your paperback, grab your Bibles with me tonight and let's turn to the book of, of Esther chapter four. And we're going to read all 15 verses. It's not going to take that long. It is a powerful read. Amen. Every time you go into the word of God, there is a new revelation. Amen. That will spring forth. The logos of God becomes rhema. Amen. And tonight I want to remind you, amen, to begin to live the rhema and blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. You know, we have a new edition tonight, and at the end, we have a good surprise for all of the persons, amen, who have been standing with this ministry and who have been sowing. I mean, I, we have a, a blessing for you on tonight. Glory be to God. Yes. And so I just want to, to say before we go into the word, yes. amen, it's important to stay in the word. It's important to study. It's important to uh, develop your spiritual body. People take time and they go to the gym, amen, and they go on diets and they look um, after their physical beings. But what is more important to God is that you take care of your spirit, man. You have to spend time in the presence of the yes. Lord, not five, ten minutes. Yes. You need to at least take some quality time every day and spend with the Lord, amen. There is so much that God wants to impart into you, but how can he pour into you if you're not taking time for him, amen. A, a relationship will die if you stop spending time with the person that you're in a relationship with. And the same way it is with the father. You have to stay in constant commune with the father and you have it an easy one. Why? Because you have the Holy Spirit. He is your paraclete. Allow him to walk alongside you. Amen. And to bring you into the place of grace. And tonight, many of you, amen. God bless you, my beloved daughter, Carlisa Fowler. Amen. It has been a long time. Blessings to you. And I heard you're about to, um, Publish your book. God bless you even on your book tonight. In the name of Jesus. It's Alicia Potts. We're about to go into the word. Amen. <clears throat> I see Pastor Frederick Mitchell is on the line. God bless you, mighty man of valor. Amen. Esther chapter 4. I will be reading from the Amplified Version. It says, Now when Mordecai learned of everything that had been done, he tore his clothes in mourning and put on sackcloth and ashes and went out into the center of the city and cried out loudly and bitterly. And he went only as far as the king's gate because no one was to enter into the king's gate dressed in sackcloth. In each and every province that the decree and the law of the king reached, there was a great mourning among the Jews with fasting and weeping and wailing, and many lay on sackcloth and ashes. And when Esther's maids and her eunuchs came and told her what had happened, the queen was seized by great fear, and she sent garments to clothe Mordecai so that he would remove his sackcloth, but he did not accept them. And then Esther summoned Hatach, one of the king's eunuchs, whom the king had appointed to attend her and ordered him to go to Mordecai to find out what this issue was and why it had come about. So Hatach went out to Mordecai in the open square of the city, which was in front of the king's gate. And Mordecai told him everything that had happened to him and, ex and the exact amount of money that Haman had promised to pay to the king's treasuries for the destruction of the Jews. And so Mordecai also gave him a copy of the text of the decree, which had been issued in Susa for the Jews' destruction so that he might show Esther and explain it to her and, or, and order her to go into the king to seek his favor and to plead with him for the lives of her people. Hatach came back, the Bible says, and told Esther that Mordecai had said, then Esther spoke to Hatach and ordered him to reply to Mordecai, all the, all the king's servants and all the people of the king's provinces know that for any man or woman who comes to the king in the inner court without being summoned, he has but one law, that he must be put to death unless the king holds out to him the golden scepter so that he may live. And as for me, I have not been summoned to come to the king, she's telling him, for the last 30 days. So they told Mordecai what Esther had said. 
And then Mordecai told them to reply to Esther. Do not imagine that you and the king's palace can escape any more than all of the other Jews. For if you remain silent at this time, liberation and rescue will arise for the Jews from another place. And you and your father's house will perish since you did not help when you had the chance. And who knows whether you have attained royalty for such a time as this and for this very purpose. Glory to God. Verse 15 says, and then Esther told them to reply to Mordecai, go gather all the Jews that are present in Susa and observe a fast for me. Do not eat or, or drink for three days, night or day. And I and my maids also will fast in the same way. Then I will go in to see the king without being summoned, which, which is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. So Mordecai went away and did exactly as Esther had commanded. Now, chapter four brings us right into the middle of what is happening. Amen. And, and many of you already know the story of Esther. Esther was raised by Mordecai, who was actually her uncle's, her uncle's, um, son, her uncle's nephew. Amen. So they were really cousins. Amen. But her father and mother had died and he basically adopted her and she had learned over time to listen to Mordecai. She was very obedient and we're going to hit obedience again tonight because it's important for uh, believers to understand the importance of obedience. If we don't know how to obey earthly authority, we're not going to know and understand how to obey heavenly authority. Glory be to God. That's why many times God is speaking to people and they are still in a place of rebellion because they're not even submitting Submitting to the rules and that are, that are governing the earth that God has already given them authority over. They're not listening to the people in charge of them. They're not listening to their bosses, not listening to their spouse, they're not listening. Amen. And so uh, obedience is a very important factor tonight. Amen. But in the synapses of what is happening here, the Jews have come under attack. And it all started because of Mordecai. But I want to take you back into the third chapter. The Bible says that there was a conspiracy among the eunuchs against the king. And the Bible said that Mordecai heard of the conspiracy and he told Esther and Esther told the king. But she had already become queen. She had already taken the throne. Amen. He had already put the crown on her head. She had already replaced Vashti at this point. And the Bible says that the king investigated the matter and he, he brought in Amen. And, and took out the, the eunuchs that were rising up against him, that were conspiring against him. And then the Bible says thereafter he promoted Haman. Now we know Haman in the book of Esther is the enemy. We know Haman in the book of Esther, he had his own selfish motives. He had his own hidden agenda. And there are so many people in our lives that we deal with every day. They have their own motives. They have their own hidden agendas. Amen. And so because they have hidden agendas, they think you have hidden agendas too. Amen. But that, that's what happened in this situation because the, the king promoted the wrong person. Amen. And it's dangerous. Amen. You put in all the work. You were the one to help the king. He was the one to help the king, but the king didn't look to promote Mordecai or bring him any higher than outside the king's court. Amen. Because Haman was next in line for promotion. Amen. So even as, and I'm going to speak to spiritual leaders in this moment, spiritual leaders, we have to be careful who we promote. Amen. Because I remember there was a time I brought in some people, amen, and trained them. And at the end of the day, they weren't novices, but at the end of the day, they, they rebelled and revolted because they were what? They were not called to walk in, a, in that particular arena. Amen. And so even though we leaders, we want help. We have to be careful who we bring in. Amen. You have to use wisdom in that. And the king is going to learn a very vital lesson. But what I want to point out right here tonight is the fact that Mordecai sowed a seed. When he told Esther to tell the king of the conspiracy, he actually saved the king's life because they were plotting to kill the king. Amen, somebody. I want to remember that. Remember tonight, he sowed a seed when he acted and he made that act of kindness in the king's favor. And now we're going to move on. So it says now that Mordecai heard what had happened and I, I love reading the word because the Bible says that Haman was so excited about destroying the Jews that he sent out couriers. I said to the Lord today when he gave me this word, I said, Father, he sent out FedEx. Amen. The enemy can't wait to get the word out. The enemy can't wait, amen, to, to destroy your life. They send it out in the quickest way they know how. Underground FedEx, demonic realm FedEx. Come on, somebody. The Bible says he sent out couriers because he wanted everybody to know, I'm in charge. I got the, the signet of the king on this decree, and I will be killing all of the Jews. My God. The enemy purpose so many times to stop your destiny, to halt what God wants to do in your life. That There's a premature attack that comes. And I'm going to call it premature because it comes out of the place of them not knowing who your God is. 
People come up against you because they truly don't know who your God is. Come on, somebody. The Bible says this in Romans 8 and 31. What again can we say to these things of God be for us? It matters not who be against us. Come on now, Bishop. It yeah. doesn't matter who rise up against us. Yeah. It doesn't matter, amen, where they come from. It doesn't matter their, yeah. the level of the attack. It yeah. won't work. Glory be to God. Yeah, God is God. our God. Hallelujah. Yes, and so now Mordecai got the news. And so he did what every Jew who knew God did. He rent his clothes. He put on sackcloth and ashes. And he found himself in the open square making petition, making supplication unto the Lord. Now, if you look at Psalm 28, it talks about the word supplication. And that word supplication there means to tell God, give God your specific requests and your humble entreaties. It means to give God, amen, what you give him a list of what you want specifically. Yeah. There are many of you praying, but you're not telling God what you want specifically. And, and there's nothing wrong with going before the Lord. You have right mm -hmm. relationship. Father, this is what I want specifically. Yeah. And so sometimes, amen, you got to come to that place. You And along with the, the specific, uh, um, um, the specific request you're going to give God, you're also going to be coming to him. What? In, in the spirit of humility. I believe that if we come to somebody, anybody in humility, they'll do it for us. The Bible says a soft answer, turn it away wrath. Amen, somebody. Humility is the king. If you're going to walk in the kingdom, amen, you got to walk with humility. There is no way around it. Micah chapter 6 verse 8, what does it say, people of God? What does the Lord require of us to do justly, to love mercy, to walk humbly before our God? If we can't walk humbly before God, we're absolutely nothing. Yes, Amen, right. somebody. God requires us to be humble in every capacity, in our business affairs, even in our homes. Amen. In our relational situations, God calls us to walk in humility. And so let's go back to Mordecai. Mordecai was in the open court of the king, yeah. right in the open square, right in front of the king's front door. Yes. And the Bible says, news got to, to Esther, what is he doing out there? My God, right. somebody go and cover him up. And the Bible says he sent back what she sent. Don't cover me. I'm out here on purpose. So then she said, okay, I'm going to send somebody. She sent her touch. He said, attach, go to him, please. Find out what's going on with Mordecai. I need to know what's happening with him. And then the story came back. The decree is out. The Jews are about to be killed. Jesus. And so Esther, in her position, yes, she was royalty. Yes, she was right next to the king. Yes, she had kingdom access, praise God. And some of you tonight, you have kingdom access. And just like Esther, you're looking at the facts. Yeah. Esther looked at the facts. And she sent back the message. Listen, the fact of the matter is, I would love to help. But I can't go to the king or I will be killed. I can't approach him on this matter because she was saying it's above my pay grade. That's what she was saying. But in this, in this realm and in this time, God is saying, I'm giving you kingdom access. Yes. Kingdom access. Jesus. Esther had kingdom access on purpose, by purpose from God. Jesus. And you have to understand, if God is giving you access to certain realms and certain levels of affluence and influence, it's not just for you. Yes. Some people come into wealth and blessing and they get caught up and they become selfish. Amen. They don't remember anybody else when they get blessed. Come on, somebody. Amen. <laughs> now, I'm not going to say give away your wealth and give away everything to everybody else and, and be left with absolutely nothing like the prodigal son because that means you're a fool and you lack wisdom. But what I'm saying is when God has put you in a position of affluence, amen, he has positioned you for kingdom business. Yeah. If you represent God, the Bible says the kingdom of God is within us. Wherever you show up, kingdom shows up. You do kingdom business every day that you take another breath. Your breath belongs to the Lord anyhow, amen, somebody. And yeah. so here it is now. So she sends back the message and he says to her, listen, this is the way it is. Either you're going to help us or you're going to suffer the same fate. The Bible says his words were... You're going to regret it if you didn't help us when you had the chance because you're going to be destroyed along with us. And God will raise up rescue and liberation from somewhere else. So in other words, if somebody feels, amen, that they're in a position to help you and you are the ends all be all to help them. I'm here to announce in their hearing tonight. Guess what? They are not the end all be all. God have many gates. God have many doors. Yeah. God have many people that will rise up and help you. God would have many people that will rise up and come to the rescue. That's what Mordecai was telling her. Listen, God positioned you to help us. But if you don't want to help us, well, you're going to be destroyed with all the rest of the Jews, but God going to liberate us. Come on, somebody. Mordecai was, listen here, he was a man of faith. He was a man of prayer. Because you know how, we, how the, how the uh, decree came about? Haman got promoted. And the Bible says that and when Haman walked through the street, everybody else bowed down to him except Mordecai. Yes. 
Mordecai served God. And if we look at Luke chapter 4, when Jesus was coming out of the wilderness and Satan came to tempt him, Satan said to him, oh, why don't you bow down and worship me? He said, oh, listen, the Lord thy God, you should only worship the Lord thy God. Him only shall thou serve. Mordecai knew the word of God. Amen. He knew that we can't, we're not supposed to worship people. We're not supposed to worship every, you understand what the flesh. Yeah. We worship God. And so because Mordecai stood for God, amen, God had to show up for him. Because Mordecai show, um, served God, Haman came up against him. My yeah. God, somebody hit that share button tonight. Yeah. Some of you on this line tonight, you standing up for God. You're yeah. standing up for integrity. You're standing up for the word. You're standing up for going the right way. And guess what? The enemy coming up against you because you're living right. The yeah. enemy coming up against you because you have a, you set a standard. You say, I may used to have done that, but I've now set a standard. And yeah. so now listen to what's happened. Yeah. When Mordecai, and this is the word the topic God gave me tonight. Yeah. When Mordecai heard that the decree, the decree was, was official, the word to destroy all the Jews, it was now a kingdom decree. He drew the line. And the Lord said to me, tell my people tonight it's time for them to draw the line. The enemy has sent some threats out against you tonight, just like Mordecai did. He drew the line. And tonight, I'm going to challenge everybody on this line to draw the line. When Esther got the word, then guess what? We're not going down alone. You're going down with us. Glory be to God. It was in that moment she drew the line. She drew the line. She drew the line. Guess what? Oh, I knew she drew the line. In the next verse, in the next paragraph, what did it say? She said, well, listen, tell him to tell all the rest of our people, fast with me for three days. Don't eat no food. Don't drink anything. And uh, me and my maids, we're going to fast for the same three days. And thereafter, I'm going to go to the king. And if I perish, I perish. Amen. Yeah. But let me tell you something, what fasting will do. Mm -hmm. Fasting will get God's attention. Yes, fasting Lord. will get God's hand to move for yes, you. Lord. Fasting will bring divine intervention. Oh, yeah. Fasting will stop the hand of the enemy. Lord. Fasting will cause the same gallow that they said for you to destroy them. The yes. same pit that they did for you to destroy them. Yes. Come on, somebody. This is the hour, the time, and the season. God is building you up. God, Come on, somebody. God is opening up great doors for you just the way he did for Esther if you go back into the first and second chapter of Esther it talks about how she was favored she was favored by the by the eunuch that was, was sent out in the square to select the most beautiful and she was favored by him to have the best position she was given seven uh, um, the, of the best maids in the palace glory be to God and so here it is now you have to understand that when God has released his favor on you to promote you and bring you into a realm of affluence he's brought you into the place of affluence amen to be a blessing he's brought you in to be the hand of deliverance that he can move through that's why God raises up presidents that's why God raises up prime ministers that's why God raises up premieres all yes. over the world. Why? Glory he wants his influence to be through them over the people. But what happens is, most men don't fear God. Amen. They have a lot of, of street knowledge. They have a lot of head knowledge. They have a lot of college knowledge. Praise God. But when it comes down to having a, a, a head that is connected yes. to God. Amen. Yes. Yes. They lack the knowledge. Amen. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And if someone doesn't have the knowledge on how to do right concerning you. Amen. They won't ever do it. Jesus. And so that's why we have countries suffering in poverty. That's why we have so many issues, so many political debates. Nobody can agree on anything. Glory be to God. Yes. But tonight I want to challenge you. Draw the line. It's time to draw the line. It's time to tell the enemy you cannot encroach anymore. You can't advance against me or my house or my business or my body. Amen. You got to draw the line. You have to tell the devil enough is enough. I'm done with it. And what I love about Esther is she said, listen, if, if well, you said, she, no, the Mordecai threw it out there that if, if we go down, you're going to go down. She said, well, let me take the other approach. Let's go up to God. Let's fast mm -hmm. and let's pray. Yes. Let's fast and let's pray. In this season, you need people in your life who are going to not ask you what you want to eat. Ask you when you fast with me. Come on, yeah, somebody. Yeah. Because in the flesh dwelleth nothing good. You're, you're not going to be elevated in the spirit. Only thing you're doing is feeding your flesh and, and, and sexual desires. When you feed in the flesh, you need to be feeding your spirit, man. Amen, somebody. You need to be feeding your spirit, man. Glory be to God. You have to come to that place whereby you are in constant commune with the spirit of the living God. My God tonight. Yes. And so Esther realized that the only way out of this situation, it was so grave. Amen. And some of you tonight on this line, you are in some hard situations. You are dealing with some inflexible people. You are dealing with some cruel and hard situations tonight. Guess what? These, these circumstances, they can change. Yes. It changed for Esther and the entire assemblage and genealogical line of the Jews. Amen? Mordecai was from an extension of the tribe of Benjamin. He was purebred Jew. Yes. My God. And here it is tonight. I want you to know you're an heir of God. 
You're a joint here with Christ. Yes, sure. Come on, somebody. In the place that you are in, you're already anointed to draw the line. Come on, somebody. Type it in there tonight. Draw the line. Draw the line. You better start drawing the line, people of God. Because yes. some of you have taken so many attacks. You've taken so many hits. You can't even stand up straight in the spirit. But tonight, I command the cane. I command every appendage that's trying to hold you up to move. So that the strength of God could come over you tonight. Somebody type, draw the line. Glory be to God. It's time to draw the line. My God. What Mordecai I was telling Esther, listen, you're a game changer. Mm. Whenever you watch football and, and the plays are not going right, the plays are going off, sometimes they will call for a timeout. And in that timeout, most of the time, yeah, they talk about the plays that are upcoming. But what that head coach will do, if he's a real good head coach, he will rest some of the other players and he will put his key player in there. And he'll probably look at them and say, what, well, you know what, you're the game changer. Because whatever you release in people's hearing, amen, that is what they're going to begin to emit. You begin to speak life over somebody, you will see life spring forth in them. Praise God. And I want to say to you tonight, you're a game changer. Esther was the element of this game that the enemy was playing through Haman against the Jews. She was the game changer. The timeout was fasting and prayer. Some of y'all need a timeout tonight. When we say time out to our children, we send them somewhere to think about what they've done. But tonight I'm sending you to a time out, amen, to fast and pray before the Lord. I'm yeah. challenging you tonight to turn down your plate for three days. Come on, you're a woman of God, what? And I just cooked this big pot. Well, guess what? Woman of God, I just got a coupon two for one. Well, what? You better turn down your plate. My God tonight. Yes. My God tonight. Glory be to God. What God is saying, you have to set him as your priority. Yes. God knows whether you have him as priority or not. And you can't fool a true prophet. Mm. A true prophet can see right through you. Jesus. Nothing but flesh. Sometimes, sometimes, I say, woman of God, I try to fast and the enemy fights me three days. I challenge you. No food. Just drink your liquids, your water. Amen. Some people drink hot tea. You can't have any caffeine or acidic or bubbly or carbonated products. Amen. But I challenge you tonight to fast. Fast for your healing. Yes. Fast for a turnaround in your marriage. Fast for deliverance of your spouse. Fast for deliverance of your children. Fast for that promotion on your job. Fast for a way out of debt. You need to fast. Not eat fast. Praise God. <laughs> This is the time and the season. You listen, this, these things come not but by fasting and prayer. When yes. the disciples couldn't cast out the demon, That's right. what they said, what did Jesus say to them? These things come not but by fasting and prayer. Damn. Jesus could tell them why he lived a fasted life. Yes. yes. And we're going to say we're serving God, then food should be secondary to us. If we really want to hear from God, we need the portals of heaven to open over us. You need to begin to fast. Tonight I'm speaking to the, the believers who are in situations you are, your back is against the wall. I'm speaking, I'm speaking to the to the ones who are in that place and they're saying, listen, you're a woman of God. I am, I am just devastated. I'm devastated. There's no, there's no one to help me or everybody who could help me refused to help me. But what I love about God is because Mordecai sowed that seed, he sowed the seed of kindness and saved the king's life. You got to know what you sow in. He sowed a royal seed. He sowed a royal seed. He, he didn't have to tell the king of the conspiracy, but he was related to the king through the queen. And so what did he do? Loyalty. Love is loyalty. You got to watch the people in your circle. If people around you and they ain't loyal to you, you got to let them go. It may hurt you, but you got to just set them free because a double tongued devil will set you back. Come on, somebody. Um, the Bible says sweet water and bitter water can't flow from the same fountain. Sometimes you just got to cut the biblical cause and say, bye, baby. I'm done with you. I'm finished with it. It's, not, it's nothing to do with you. Amen. But I just got to go. You know, because some people, they will not change. But he sowed the seed. Yes. He sowed the seed of kindness. Yes. He sowed the seed of loyalty and love. Yes. And he rescued the king from being mm. murdered, from being accosted by his eunuchs. Who closer to the king than the eunuchs? They serve the king. They know the intimate intricacies of the king's life. You know, and most of the time, betrayal comes from the people that walk closely with you. So this is what I will say. Watch out. Mm. I will say, fast and pray. Yeah. I will say, stay walking with the spirit of the Lord God Almighty. The yeah. Bible says God doesn't want us ignorant of the devil's devices. We're supposed to know what the devil brought in before he, before he even finished the last strategic point. That's right. We're supposed to see it in the realms of the spirit. All we need to do is see our next meal. That's not God. Yeah. I'm challenging you tonight. Draw the line. The enemy is coming like a flood. Draw the line. The enemy has hit you in your body. Draw the line. Come on, somebody. Fast and pray. And for the next um, three days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday... 
ending your fast on Sunday morning, I will fast with you. And I guarantee you, you will see a move of God over your life. There was some oil that I had prayed over. Bishop and I had prayed over when I went into the Bahamas and I gave the oil out to as many people as I could get to. Amen. And there was one particular lady. I was coming out of a restaurant. Amen. Getting some food, not fasting that day. Praise God. Amen. And so here it is. I was home. I was getting some peas and rice, mac and the works. Praise God. I was getting the works from checkers. And I don't know this lady. And she said to me, I know you. I said, you know me? And I'm looking at her and, and, and my friend, um, Lady Christy was with me, you know? And, and she's like, you know me? I, I, I said, I don't know you. you know, but I got out the car. She said, I know you from Facebook. You're, you're the prophetess. Uh, uh, you know, you prophesy on the Facebook live, you know? And so I got out and I hugged her and the Holy Spirit quickened me. He said, give her a bottle of the oil. And so I got the oil and I, I gave it to her, amen? And she texted me this morning. And she said, no, yesterday, this was yesterday morning, yesterday morning. And she said to me, woman of God, when you prayed over that oil, you prayed right. Yes. She said, because every time I anoint myself with that miracle money that's come in my hands that whole day, she said, my God, woman of God. And today she sowed a seed. She went on the PayPal. She didn't even ask me for the link. She must have just gone back on one of the, um, gone back on one of the messages and saw the link and said, she never even said, only thing I saw, the notification came through the PayPal today. Amen. And I called and I prayed with her. Amen. I left a message of prayer like I usually do. When you sow a seed, we believe in praying and covering your seed. Amen. Because you're sowing into good soil. But when Mordecai sowed that seed, it was tridimensional. They were dealing with a natural problem. Amen. That was holding in the atmosphere that had to affect the spirit. And God moved every obstacle. I'm here to announce to you tonight, God is about to move every obstacle named Haman. He's about to move every hard force. He's about to move every cruel force. You don't have to deal with it no more. God getting ready to move it. The same spirit of Haman that's trying to plague your life. The same spirit of Haman that always threatening you and coming up against you and treating you certain ways and trying to stop plans for you and, stop, and trying to stop uh, the victory that God promised for you. God getting ready to move Haman. The same, the Bible says, the same gallows that Haman built to hang Mordecai. He wanted a big show. Big show. Amen. The same big show that he purposed to destroy Mordecai with. He was destroyed on it. The same pit the devil dig for you. Dig a fall in it. Amen somebody. God will lay them low. God will listen. God will remove people off the planet. If they are even thinking about hindering the work of God through your life. Esther was put in that place by God. For God's people. Where you are right now, you've been placed there by God for God's people. Now let the devil feel like he can do what he wants, do, say what he wants, say I'm in a nonce on behalf of the Lord. Amen. Not so. Not so. The Lord tell me that you're going to need the notes. This, this word will flow through. I see what he mean. Amen. Come on, come on somebody. You got, you got to know. Yes. You got to know who God is. Amen. And I challenge you tonight. You want to see turn around? Join me. Join Bishop. Bishop, you're going to fast with me? Yes. Bishop, we're going to fast for three days. Amen. We'll turn our plate down and we're going to see the supernatural move of God. You want to increase your reading ability. Some of you have challenges reading. Amen. Some of you have so many challenges. Amen. Um, paying school fees. You have challenges keeping grocery in your house. You have challenges paying your bills on time. You have challenges in your physical body. Uh, listen. As a prophet of the living God, and I humble myself up under the mighty hand of God, I'm nothing without the spirit of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord God Almighty. Fasting will work. God gave me this word. He said, tell my people, draw the line. Somebody hit the share button. Listen, it's time to draw the line. If you've been doing everything you've been doing the same way you've always been doing it, time to do something different. God bless you, Apostle Roll, tonight. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. It's time to do something different. You say, woman of God, that's a hard word. Yes, a hard word. It's a hard word because we need a hard word to come and shift us and move us. Because some of us get cemented in the wrong place. Some of us get cemented, come on, in situations. And God says, I've already given you power. Open up your mouth. God has given you power to overcome. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's time to fast and pray. It's time to fast and pray. 
It's time to get before the Lord and it's time to give, bear your everything before God. He said, woman of God, I've never even, some of you say, I've never even fasted a full three days. Amen. Well, that's okay. We're going to walk with you. If you need, inbox me every day. I'll pray you through it. Praise God. Because in this season, when nothing else will work, listen, you got the prophetic word. The Bible says you have the war, good warfare after the prophecy that have gone on before you. But what, what, let me tell you something, what the fasting will do, it will bring acceleration over everything that was hindered, blocked, or delayed in your life. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Demi. She's saying tonight, confirmation. The Lord must have been leading her to a fast. It's time to fast and pray. You want to see your relationship come back together? You want to see you get married in this season? Come on, declare fast. This is going to be the fast above all fasts you've ever fasted. Amen? You fasting with Righteous Run the Ministries International. You fasting, amen, with Apostle and the Bishop. You're going to fast with us. Let's turn down our plate. Let's truly begin to see God. We have some big things on the agenda. When you have big things on the agenda, you can't be sitting down twiddling your thumbs. Mm -hmm. You have to be opening up your mouth and affecting your atmosphere. Amen. Amen. There was a woman of God today. She told me, she said, woman of God, there was a time, you know, I, I stopped praying. There was a time I got shut up from praying. She said, but oh, Jesus, I've been freed. I've been liberated. I'm here tonight to bring that same level of liberation to all of them. I'm here to bring the spirit of liberation. Come out from among them. Be separate, said the Lord. Some of you, people are your hindrance. Jesus. People are your hindrance. Every step yes. you make, every advancement you make, some devil setting you back. Time to yes. let some people go. Time to, time to cut yes. the line. Time to cut the noose because they ain't going to get no better than they are. You just got to leave them right where they are. And, and guess what? Esther and Mordecai. They continued to reign in the king's palace and Mordecai got promoted when Haman hit um, um, bit the dust. Amen? Another one bites the dust. And that's what you got to look at. It. Sometimes you got to let people bite the dust. Let them bite the dust of your life. See you later. See you later. It's time. It's time to take what you do for God so seriously. It's time to take your position in the kingdom so seriously. You say, woman of God, I'm not a minister. I'm just a regular lay person in the church. Guess what? You're not regular. You're in the kingdom of God. So even when you go to church, you're taking kingdom with you because the kingdom of God is within you. Amen, somebody. I'm here to stir you up tonight. I'm here to empower you tonight. It's time to draw the line. It's time to remind the devil of who you know you are. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, somebody. I want to challenge you to read Psalm 28 tonight from the Amplified Version. And I want you to begin to lay out your prayer request, even on this three-day fast, yes. in specific requests. The right. things you really want God to change and intervene, right. and the enemy right. been threatening you and saying, this is what's going to happen, and this is this, that, you know. Let God deal with your enemies. Let God humble the people that have come up against you, and trust me, he will do it. He will do it. God will hear every request of your heart. You could just think it and God will do it in this fast. I challenge you tonight. Amen. Minister McPhee, God bless you tonight. Amen. Mother Helen McNeil, God bless you, mighty woman of God. Amen. This is the time and the season we have to be in that place. We have to be in that place. We are truly consecrated to the Lord. Some people consecrated in, in looks, but they're not consecrated in lifestyle. And so I'm going to challenge you tonight. Don't be one of them. Yes. Be consecrated in every facet of your life. Yes. Amen. Don't have the look, don't have the talk, and not the walk. The walk is the most thing important to God. Amen. My beloved sister Sherry Smith. God bless you all the way in Exuma, Bahamas. This is not the time for us to look at situations, amen, and say, well, my hands are off of it. Because that's the first thing Esther said, I can't help you. That's what Esther said, I can't help you. The first thing, when you're in trouble, you go to the person in influence who you knew you know could help you. Mm -hmm. That was the first thing, the first person you usually go to say to you, I can't help you. I can't help you. That was her first response. But oh, when the truth of the matter was revealed, you going down with us. You're not in this just because you're sitting in the palace. You think you, you straight. No, no, no. And some people are of that mindset. And that's why when you see some people come down and you see some people lose good people in their lives and you see some people lose everything in their life, that's why. It's because they had the wrong mindset when God blessed them with the affluence that he gave them. That's why it's important to stay humble. It's important to not think more highly of yourself than you are. I don't care how high God take me. I will always be down to earth. I will always be who I am. I will always deal with people on this level. You know why? Because I am who God called me to be. I'm called to people. I am called to do the work of the Lord. I'm called to walk in ministry. Amen. And as an apostle, sometimes I have to, to say hard things. Why? Because if I don't say it, the Holy Ghost is going to beat me. And I ain't taking no beating for you. I'm going to let you have it. Praise God. Somebody type in there tonight. I'm a game changer. Esther became... The, ch the game changer and the element of the game that the devil was playing against the Jews. Satan had walked all up inside of Haman. 
and he had made a plan that he sure was bona fide because he got the king's signet on it. What is with the devil? He always, listen, and you have to watch these spirits, you know. Satan always wants to get right next to the leader. Watch it. With Daniel, what happened? It was the governor's. It was the governors who went to the king on Daniel to report him for praying three times a day and for not worshiping and honoring the king by bowing down when they heard the gong. Come on. It was Haman. Come on, these people get, get the signet of the king to try to destroy you. But oh, they don't understand. But that's just a local king. You know the king of kings. Come on, somebody. The king of kings. The king of kings. That's right, Bishop. And the Lord of lords. Yeah. And he will lay every enemy low in this season for you. Yes. Join us in this fast. Yes. You didn't think that was coming tonight. Join us in this fast. Mm. Let tonight be your last meal for three days. Game changer. Yes, sir, Minister Hargrove. Game changer. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory to God. I know I'm a game changer. Yes. I'm a game changer. When God adds me to the element of any solution, something going to happen. Amen. I've gotten so many testimonies in the ministry. I've got so many testimonies about what the Lord is doing, even through this Facebook Live. And so no matter how the enemy fight, I'm going to stand and I'm going to prevail. And I'm going to continue to obey God. Amen, Bishop? Amen. I will obey God for my dying God. breath yes, until God. God decides, baby girl, that's your last breath. Take it in grace. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And people who truly serve God are not afraid, amen, to die. You're not afraid. What is there to be afraid of? To be absent in the body is to be present with the Lord. Amen. You got to know God. Amen. Amen. You'll be free from all the trials and struggles of this world. I used to hear my grandmother though say these things in prayer meeting. And when I was growing up as a little girl, and I could say the same things verbatim because I was always very smart. And I didn't have to hear, I only had to hear it once. And I was able to repeat it. I can get up there and say, I give God thanks and praise for my space here tonight. You know, honoring the bishop or whoever was in the church. You know, because I've heard it so many times. You know, we can't be afraid to leave this old earth behind. You know, and I don't know. You know, some people are afraid to die. My father, he's already my earthly daddy. He's gone on to be with the Lord and he was afraid to die. Amen. And so I had to talk to him a lot because he was ill for a very, very long time. I had to talk to him a lot to encourage him. And so maybe tonight someone's in your life and, and they're going through something, some illness, and they may feel afraid to pass on, you know, but let them know there is power, amen, and strength that comes from the spirit of the Lord. God will undergird them. And sometimes healing comes through death. Amen. And that's why it's so important. Psalm 28 to give God your specific request. Amen. Don't just say, Lord, heal me because healing can come through death. I, I just, I just gave somebody some word of wisdom right there. Yes. Amen. Know how you're praying. God, I want to be, I want you to heal me based on your word. And I don't want to be, I don't want to be healed in death. I, I just gave you some wisdom. Make it plain. Amen. Somebody, I just gave you some wisdom. This is the awesomeness of God in this season. This is the awesomeness of God being released, revealed. His glory is being revealed. His awesomeness is his glory. It's being revealed yeah. in this season. Glory be to God. Yeah. Time to draw the line. Draw the line. Tell the devil you can cross no more. Yeah. You can't cross over. I've drawn the plumb line. I've drawn the line. Listen here. This is the line of the blood of Jesus. This is the yeah. line of my faith. Step yeah. back, devil. This is my territory. I'm taking it back. This is my marriage. I'm taking it back. This is my, my finances. I'm taking it back. Come on, somebody. This is my health. I'm taking it back. Yes. These are my children. I'm taking them back. Yes. This is my family members. I'm taking it back. Yes. I'm seeing God turn families around. Yes. I could imagine if we fasted for three days what the Lord will do. Yes. I want you all to join us tonight. Mm, it's, time to yes. it's time to fast and pray. It's time to fast and pray. It's time to seek God's face. Yes. Amen. I encourage all of you tonight. Let's join in this fast, and I'll be putting some postings every morning of, for the fast um, just to give you um, some strength as you're going through. If yes. you need a personal prayer, just inbox me, and I will pray with you, release a prayer over you um, during the three days of this fast. Amen. That's right. Pastor Marvita um, Pratt from Florida, God bless you. It's time to draw the line. It is time yes. to draw the line the line. Glory be to God. Yes, it is time to let the devil know you have no space here. You have no place here. I serve you an eviction notice. Leave in Jesus name. It's time to go. Amen. God bless you. Uh, Pastor um, Dorian Cox, woman of God. Amen. This is the time now God is doing. God is doing something great in our lives. He's turning things around. And there are many of you, <clears throat> amen, who have sown already exponentially in the, um, 
ministry. And we have the t-shirt and the hat tonight I want to show you. Yeah. Amen. Um, what, what God has put in my heart, that same line that he gave me, I think in the second episode of this Facebook Live program, Live the Rhema, it's become a tagline for the ministry. A tagline in that I want you to be able to remember that the Logos is the written word, but it's the Rhema that will transform you. That's when the word is quickened in you. That's when the word comes to life. It is the living word. And, and the Lord put in my spirit to have some t-shirts made, amen, and to have some um, caps made um, for the purposes of furthering the gospel and, and for those who want to sow a seed, amen. But you yeah. can just hold it up behind me, amen. <laughs> Bring it down a little bit, just a little okay. bit, amen. For you to see it, amen. Yes. It says, live the rhema. It yes. has the name of the ministry and our ministry logo on it, praise God. And thank you so much, beloved. Mm -hmm. You know, so here it is now. Um, you're going to have, we have a website being made right now. And so we're, we're excited about that. For the people that have sown in this ministry know that your seed has fallen on good soil and it's going to, you're going to reap a magnanimous harvest. But the seed that you've sown has been put to good ministry works. Amen. And so those of you who are going to um, sow the seed of 30 for that, that 30 day release, we're still sowing $30 for the 30 day release. Amen. Those of you already sow, we bless God for you. If you're on the line and you've never sown, you've been um, promising to sow, you've forgotten to sow, and you're waiting to sow, it's time to sow. Amen. The seed of 30 for the 30 day release and the declaration that we have been declaring over our lives for the for the next 30 days. Bishop, if you can share that declaration in this link, in this line, this thread tonight, that would be great. Praise God. Along with the PayPal account. If you are looking for a breakthrough, it's time to sow. If you don't sow, you can't look for a harvest. Amen. And 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 amen. <laughs> Bishop said, if you can't sow, you can't grow. Amen. There's if nothing you don't to grow. Sow, you can't grow. Amen. You have to sow. Yes. And you have to come make sowing a habit amen yes. don't hold on we, we hold on to the temporal we hold on to the things that we most value and sometimes some people's healing is wrapped up in in a seed sometimes people's deliverance is wrapped up in a seed god bless you apostle come to woods my beloved amen i love you woman of god amen great shout out to you and your your blessed ministry praise god you know i i know that god is doing a great work and so uh, bishop is about to post the paypal link as well as the declaration every morning you get up you decreed over yourself you're, you're decreeing and declaring my beloved minister maria i love you mighty woman of zion i decree blessings over your ministry tonight over your business tonight that ministry in your belly is growing a uh, woman of god get ready this is minister maria amen or y'all y'all will see prestige transformation god is getting ready to change your surname amen i see rings being picked out god is getting ready to do a quick work in your life and watch how quickly it's going to take place. It's going to be sanctioned and sanctified by the hand of the living God. There are many people whose minds will be blown at what God is about to do. Amen. And I see the, the home coming together. I see oneness and unity. I see, amen, the marriage, amen, and you both in one place. And God is getting ready to release something great over you. Finances, amen. God is about to give you access to that which you didn't know existed. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. God is getting ready to set you up financially like never before gray lynn gray lynn in three days god is getting ready to open up a great door the phone is going to ring and and a situation that you've been waiting on amen you've been trying to get something sorted out god is going to give you favor and it's going to be sorted out with immediacy blessed be the name of the lord god almighty in a gray lynn this is your hour for release said the lord this is your hour for release he's releasing into your hands everything the enemy has been holding up the past 42 42 days i see 42 days it has been a fight in the realms of the spirit over you gray lynn but god is getting ready to cause the release to come into your hands i see scotia listen Listen, I see you in the midst of a bank, Graylin, and God is getting ready to do something that is going to make your life take on a new status. Hallelujah. What the enemy meant for bad, God is about to turn it around. God is about to turn it around. God is about Tiffany Colbrook. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Mighty doors are about to open for you. But I see God moving even in the midst of your family. I see God setting you up. Amen. Setting you up to be the affluent one. Setting you up to be the one of the greater influence in your family. Glory be to God. And, and I see a lot of people running to you for advice and running to you for this and that. And God says it's because he's called you to be a pillar. And so don't get weird 
weary with the people. Amen. Don't get distraught and don't get, you know, just, just stay on that line because guess what? As you continue to walk with God, listen, he's about to expand your life to the left and to the right. Glory be to God. And I see businesses. I don't see just one business. I see businesses coming out of your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. And now God is about to give you favor yes. with a very wealthy person. And you're about to come into a new realm that you've never been yet exposed. I'm talking yachts and traveling the world and yachts and, and flying on private jets. God is getting ready to bring a ship that is tridimensional. And these people, they look like ordinary people. Glory be to God. God bless you. My daughter, um, Brianna Simonette, God bless you. This is the hour, the time, and the season. Amen. When God, would God purpose to come to pass in your life, it won't be stopped and it won't be halted. Samantha Harvey, I see you on the line tonight. Amen. Samantha Harvey, get ready for increase. Get ready for increase. Amen. The enemy has been challenging you. Amen. On every side, even physically. But I speak and I decree and declare tonight that every demonic attack that has come up against you, I set yes. it back to hell in the yes. name of Jesus. Yes. Every yes. demonic witchcraft spirit that yes. has been planted at your gates, I, commanded the, I command yes. it to be returned to the senders in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth your spiritual gates amen the enemy wanted to compromise your spiritual gates but the Lord God Almighty amen he's surrounding you even now with a hedge a new level of favor uh listen this is this uh, this level of favor is uncommon this level of favor is going to be ridiculous over you this level of favor is going listen you've always had favor You've always had favor, but this is another dimension of favor that God is about to release over you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. For some of you tonight, God is about to give you a turnkey blessing. Some of, you are, some of you are about to be married. And when you get married, you're going to have to do nothing. Your husband is going to put your name on the mortgage. He's going to go put your name on the cars. He's going to go put your name on the business. He's going to, come on, he's going to put your name on everything that he owns. Listen, God is getting ready to cause you to be married. He's going to bring you into wealth. Some of you, you are on the verge of giving up. You say, God, I don't even want it anymore. But God said, don't give up because he's named a blessing for you. And there's nothing the enemy can do about it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Every spoken curse, Brianna Simonet, every spoken curse that your enemies wanted to bring. A lot of jealousy around you. Amen. A lot of jealous people. Amen. Around you. Praise God. I'm not talking about your family. Praise God. I'm not talking about family. I'm talking about externals. Praise God. And, and God is getting, because people watch you from afar. Amen. Yes. And, and some people, I, I've known people like this. Some people will judge people and you don't even know them. Amen. And, and negative spoken words, they will see you and be jealous and just release something negative and not think about it. But negative spoken words released in your atmosphere, they create havoc. They create delay. They create hindrance. But tonight I speak against it and I command it to move in the name of Jesus. But I see you signing some documents. Amen. And, and I don't know. I, I see you signing like a document. Amen. Saying something about property. And then I see something else. I see something like an acceptance letter. You're accepting something. It's an acceptance letter. That's what's written on it. Praise the name of the Lord God Almighty. So God is getting ready to open up great doors for you. Daughter of Zion. That's Brianna Seminet. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. You don't need to. So some of you in the line, you're worried. You're worried about what's coming and how you're going to deal with it. Some of you, you are under the gun in this moment, but your, your, the key to your breakthrough is fast. If you've been knocking on a door and that door has not been opening fast, if you've been asking for something and you haven't seen it released, you need to fast. Amen. Somebody Amen. come on, type in there. I need to fast. Amen. It's time to draw the line. When you draw Amen. that line, you draw that line and you show the enemy. I mean, business. Yeah. Esther drew that line. And the Bible says after that fast, she went into the court of the king. The king saw her and he extended his golden scepter. She touched the top of it and she was given access. Tonight, God is saying he's given you access. He's given you kingdom access to him. He's given you kingdom access to his resources where there is no limitation. We don't have to beg and you don't have to borrow. Amen. We're lenders, not borrowers. Praise God. We don't have to beg for anything. And some of us, you know, me, I'm a person I would do without before I ask somebody. That's who I am because I know how people are. And some of you tonight, God is about to send people in your life who's going to bless you. No strings attached. They ain't going to ask you no question. They're just going to come, do what God say, and leave. Supernatural manifestations over your life. Kenneth and Tawanda, my going name. And I see a family trip coming up for you. And I cover you even on that trip. I see like going to a conference or something like that out of town. Amen. But God is getting ready to move in a powerful way, amen, over your family and even over the ministry that's in your belly. And I see a three o'clock shift. I see God waking y'all up three o'clock to pray, waking you up three o'clock to pray the time of war, amen. He's about to shift some things, <coughs> sorry, over your family. He's about to shift some things, even over the ministry 
He's about to do something so wonderful. And I see revival coming to the area that you're living in. Revival, revival. A change, a shift is coming. Amen. And people are going to be saved, set free, and delivered. There's some people that are struggling right now um, to wonder. And Kenneth, and you know of their struggle. Amen. God says he's heard your prayer. And he's about to pull them out of that struggle. He's about to pull them out of the struggle. Praise the name of the Lord. They're um, coming out of addictions. They're coming out of addictions. Oh, substance abuse. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of them want to stop smoking cigarettes. Amen. They say, God, they, they love the Lord, but they can't stop smoking cigarettes. They can't stop it. God is going to break it even tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. And so, because Esther had kingdom affluence and influence, she, she gained kingdom access. And tonight, that is the key. But she didn't get kingdom access until she fasted. Amen? The key, these things come not but by fasting and prayer. It's time to fast. It's time to pray. You know, we've, we've come through that season now. You say, woman of God, I want to rejoice. I want to eat. I want to have a good... No, no, no. It's time to fast. Yes. It's time to fast. Trust the word of the prophet. The Bible says, believe the word of the Lord, so shall he be established. Believe his prophet, so shall he prosper. God wants you to prosper by the prophets and the prophetic ministry. Prophet by obeying. Amen. God said, if you love me, keep my commandments. I keep his commandments. Amen. I, I strive my best to try to keep them. Amen. I try not to falter and fail the father. Praise God almighty. I'm not perfect. Amen. But I press my way through. I continue to move toward God. I hunger for him. I thirst for him. As for what a dry and thirsty land. Amen. I run after him. Praise God. Hallelujah. I ain't running after nobody else. I'm going to run after God. Because when we run after God, everything else we want runs after us. You don't believe me? Matthew 6 and 33, seek first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, everything else will be added to your life. Amen, somebody. Glory be to God. We have to, the best is yet to come point here. You know, that is a prophetic, that is a prophetic release right over you right there. The best is yet to come. But I'm going to say this. There are some changes coming in the arena. And I don't know what, what a pension plan has to do for you. I, I see something, something to do with a pension plan. Amen. And signing up on some documents. I don't know what that is about, but I see documents. Amen. But I see God try, uh, is going to try to, and, 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 and oh, uh, the enemy is going to try to adva uh, um, advance and overtake you. The enemy is going to try to advance and overtake you like in a business situation and business decisions. But I decree wisdom over you in that you will not move before time. Don't make any hasty decisions. Blessed. The best is yet to come, Poitia. Don't make any hasty decisions. Wait on the Lord. Don't let anybody push you to make any decisions. Wait on the Lord. Amen? Just give it some time. If you have a deadline, you know, watch it right at the deadline. But don't, don't do anything in the beginning. God bless you, Caressa Hall. I have not seen or heard from you in a long time. Amen? I love you so much. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you, Arlene Russell. Bless you. Hallelujah. This is now the hour and the time that we have to walk so close with God. Because the enemy is on our heels. Claudine Taylor, I hear the Lord say to tell you 21 days. In 21 days, you're going to see a breakthrough hit your life. You've been pressing, praise God. You've been pressing. You've been pressing like you've never pressed before. And, and sometimes you have to give yourself the push the, of urgency and the motivation to get up from where you are and to continue to push and to continue to press. But I hear the Lord say he's about to reward you for your labor. You've not done all you've been doing, especially of late, for nothing. God is about to come through for you in a great way. Amen. A powerful, a powerful release is coming over your life in 21 days. Yes. It's going to be a big breakthrough. Yes. You're going to have to inbox us and say, listen, this is what has taken place. So I bless God for you on tonight and for what God is about to do in the midst of your life. Daquan McIntosh, hear the Lord say he is pleased with you and he's about to take you higher. He's about to take you higher into realms, into scaling the realms that you've never yet been in in God. There's so many things that God has been showing you about churches and people and ministries and leaders especially. And he's been showing you because he's called you to leadership he's yes. called you to lead amen even from a little a little boy <clears throat> even when you were younger you had the capacity to lead and there were so many things going on around you that you knew in your heart of hearts you discerned by the spirit of god that is very sharp on the inside of you might i add you discerned by the spirit of god that it was not of god that was happening amen and so god has called you to be a watchman so continue to watch but he's about to cause you to scale the heights and show you deep things Deep things. And he's going to show you because he can trust you. So when he show you, don't tell nobody. Pray. 
Mm-hmm. When he show you these leaders true struggle, pray. When he show you who they really are behind closed doors, pray. Amen. Because he's going to show you because he wants to release an anointing and you got breakers anointing. So when you pray, change will come over their lives. Amen. It's before shame comes. Amen. Change. If they don't change, then shame comes. That's, you know, that's how it is. Praise the name of the Lord God Almighty. Shame will come if people refuse to change. Hmm. Glory be to God. You got to change. You got to change. God don't tolerate sin. He don't tolerate sin. He turns his back to it. You know, and, and, and some, some leaders, especially in the, in the spiritual arena, you know, they continue to practice presumptuous sin. And the Bible says we ought not. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's not okay to cuss. It's not okay to fornicate. It's not okay to commit adultery. It's not okay yes. to drink and smoke. It's not okay yes. to do all the other things that the people in the world are doing. We are in the world, but we're not of, of the, the world. world. There is a line of distinction. Draw the line. There's some believers even on this line tonight. Y'all have to set a standard, man. Draw the line. Come on, somebody. You can't go to church three nights out of the week and then, and then you dip and dive and slip and slide and everything. No, no, no. You got to lift a standard. Guaranteed. I'm guaranteeing you this. If you lift the standard, you will see divine intervention. You will see God's hand move over you like never before. Amen? I know what it is to mentor young people. I know what it is to be young and saved. I know what it is to struggle. God is a deliverer. Yeah. Amen. Let's trust the delivering power of God tonight to bring deliverance to your life or to someone else whose life for whom you're standing in the gap for on this line tonight. Amen. Let's press. Somebody type in there one more time. Draw the line. It's time for us as saints to draw the line. Amen. It's time for us to get rid of all the ain'ts and become saints. Praise the name of the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. We're about to pray. And I've already asked um, for those on the line to give. Amen. If God leads you and you, the, the anointing flowing on this word has touched your life. You want to sow for the salvation of your family members, your spouse. You want to sow because you're in a hard situation and a hard place. Join us in this fast for the next three days. We're sowing the seed of $30. <clears throat> Amen. And we're reading the declaration over our lives for 30 days. Join us. And I know God will turn it around for you. And you will be just like the host of all the other people. Amen. Who are coming in with testimonials of what God has done. The Lord God Almighty Yahweh Elohim is his name. Amen. And let's continue to love one another. Let's continue to move forward in grace. Let's continue to stand in faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Terrence Knight, I hear the Lord say he, he's fighting every battle on your behalf tonight. Terrence Knight, he's turning it around. Hallelujah. He's turning it around. And I hear the Lord say exaltation will be your portion in this season. He's exalting you. He's bringing you up and out of where you are, up and out of what you've been in. Glory be to God. I see God enlarging your portion. I see you on a, on a, on a stretch of property. I see God turning it over to you and I see great things coming up. I see great things coming up. This is yet your beginning. This is a new day dawning for you. This Terrence night in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. He's getting ready to bring that shift that only God's right hand and holy arm can bring. Amen. And if there is somebody on this line tonight or you're sitting in the room or driving in the car with somebody, you're at work with somebody working the late shift and you're listening to this and they don't happen to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. We're going to give you that opportunity right now. Amen. Just say this quick prayer. I say, Father God, I repent of my sins. I ask you to forgive me. Lord God, I believe that you sent Jesus to die and that he, he was raised on the third day just for me. I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus. I believe with my heart right now and I decree that I'm saved. I decree that I'm saved. I renounce the devil and all the works of the world and I decree that I'm saved. Father, fill me with your Holy Spirit and I know that I'm saved in Jesus' name. Amen. So we thank God for salvation above all things. We are soul winners. Amen. The Bible says he who wins his souls is wise. So let's continue to walk in wisdom. Let's not be selfish. Amen. Yes. Let's not be selfish with the word. Let's continue to do what God has called us to do. Let us release the word so that people who are outside the kingdom can know their rights of redemption. The rights of redemption and the blood of Jesus. Amen. And that they can be redeemed, bought back because it's already been laid out. It's already been laid out. All they need to do is accept the plan in Jesus' name. So those of you who want to sow, go ahead and post that PayPal link again for me, please, my beloved bishop. Amen. Yes. Our, bishop, our, our beloved bishop, Brian J. Graham. Amen. Sometimes I get tongue-tied. Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. But I give God thanks and praise. Amen. And God bless for my, my beloved one and only good son that God has blessed me with, my beloved Joshua, who helped set up tonight. Amen. May sure mommy had everything that she needed. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. I release a prophet's reward over those on this line tonight. 
I release a prophet's reward over you. That everything that was hard, God will cause it to be easy. That every challenge that you're facing, God will send an anointing to cause you to overcome. Yes, In the mighty name of Jesus. Name of Hallelujah. Jesus. I love all of them. Amen. I thank you for your time and your patience tonight. I don't know how long we've been on here, but I just, I just feel so full of God. And whenever I feel so full, I just get real quiet. Amen. Hallelujah. Rosie Draper. Rosie Draper, you're coming into your exceptional season because God is going to do some things for you exceptionally. In other words, it's not supposed to be done, but God is about to make the exception for you. Amen. The exception for Rosie. Hallelujah. Victory is coming over your family. And I see you've been interceding over a particular situation. God said he's about to move. Amen. In the next seven days, you're about to see a move of God like never before. Hallelujah. God said continue to give him praise. Amen. You are a worshiper, Rosie Draper. Amen. Always got a song in your heart for the Lord. Lord. And God said he's pleased with your worship. Continue to worship the Lord. Continue to bless him. Continue to honor God for all that he is doing. Amen. He is your God and he will not leave you nor forsake you. Amen. You're going to leave a legacy. You're a legacy builder. That's who you are. Amen. And all of the seeds that you've sown in the lives of people, God is going to cause it to come back to you in a great harvest, even before December 2018. Glory be to God. Bless you, Minister Paulette Nesbitt. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, mighty woman of God. The, the, the chains that were binding some of you on this line, I see them being released tonight. The chains, the chains that were binding some of you. I see those chains breaking tonight. Yes, God. Yes, In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Minister Kisa Williams, all the way from Freeport, Bahamas. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Let your expectation be strong, Minister Kisa. Let your expectation be strong. And please, I, I know you're a fasting woman, but join us on this fast. Because something special is coming your way. Amen. I see a banker's draft coming your way. God has put you in the heart of somebody there on the way. Amen. Hallelujah. I see the banker's draft. They even have no personal checking account. They're getting the money from the bank in the check and the banker's draft to give to you. Minister Kisa Williams, join us in this fast yes. and watch God break every chain. Money ain't going to be your problem. Amen. Because he can expand you so greatly. You don't going to have to worry about nothing. Amen, mm -hmm. somebody. Amen. Glory be to God. I cover you guys under the blood of Jesus tonight, Bishop. Yes. Come, let us pray. Yes. Before they get off the line. Yes. Father God, we cover the body of your people tonight. Yes, and we thank you for your yes. goodness toward them. We thank you, yes. Father God, for your word tonight. Yes. Father, I thank you for empowering them to draw the line. Yes, I thank you, Father line. God, that they will be a strong in the Lord yes. and the power of your might. God, we thank you tonight, God, that this word has hit the soils of their heart, God. Yes. And it will be cemented in them. Father God, let this word revive them. Yes. God, let this word strengthen them yes. in the name of Jesus. God, I speak against every Haman that has come against their life. And I command Haman to be destroyed destroyed with the same gallows that it come up against your people with. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I thank you that they will be able to stand on this word yes. and see the victory because you are their God. And because you before them, it matters not, will be against them. We pronounce victory over you tonight. Amen. Yes. Bishop, you have any closing words? Amen. You want yes. to say anything to the yes. people of God tonight? Yes. Yes. See yes. These things don't come by but from fasting and praying. Amen. I'm ready. Amen. I'm ready. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, well, let's get let's get ready to fast. Let's yes. get ready to fast. Yes. And let's get ready to stay before God. Yes. This is the key. This is the key. There was one lady one time, she was diabetic. She was diabetic, and the Lord told me to tell her to fast for three days. A full fast. And she was on those pills or injections or some, I don't know what she was on. And she obeyed the prophet. And she didn't die. Amen. She was actually, and she ended up being healed of diabetes and giving birth to a son. My God, it was amazing. It was just amazing. And she came to me. She's a woman of God. I went to the doctor. My blood sugar is normal. Everything, all the tests came back normal. And I'm pregnant, you know? And so God did it. God did it. And so I'm not going to tell those of you who are diabetic or whatever, not to do whatever you do. Fast the way the Lord leads you. Amen. I'm going to fast whole. I'm diving in. I'm diving in because I need some change. I need some things done. Yes. I need some mountains moved. And I'm standing in the gap for you. 
Amen. Even as I fast, I'm going to be praying for you. You're on this line. As go through the dread, I'm going to call your name before the Lord. Yes, and yes. as the Lord shows me what you're going through, I yes, will be interceding. Yes. A woman of God inboxed me the other day and she said, woman of God, I know you praying for me. She said, I can feel your prayers just like that. And I had just finished praying for her. I had just come out of the prayer closet. I had just finished calling her name. You know, and so when it's just like that, some people say they pray and they don't pray. But I'm going to be praying for you. Amen. Bishop and I, we're going to be praying. Yes. We're going to be praying yes, for you. Are. And God is going to move. Faithfully. Let's commit for this fast. Let's commit to it. Amen. Yes. Draw the line. Let's fast and pray. Amen. A final good night. Amen. But you want to say good night to everybody. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. That's our handsome bishop. Praise God. Bishop Brian Jermaine Graham, on behalf of Righteous Remnant Ministries International, Righteous Remnant Revelated Rhema, we thank you for joining us tonight. We thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule and blessing us enough. Amen. Loving us enough to bless us with your presence. Amen. Continue to love one another. God is love. Love on somebody tonight. Love hard. Love strong. Be blessed in Jesus' name.